This video will demonstrate an electrical safety test to the NFPA 99 2015 standard utilizing the Safe Test 99 safety analyzer from Rigo Medical. The Safe Test 99 is the newest addition to the increasingly popular Safe Test product family. This is Jack Barrett with Rigo Medical taking you through today's demonstration. The Safe Test 99 allows for safety testing of medical devices that have patient leads. And like the Safe Test 50, it features a universal power supply, so it will test devices operating from 90 volts AC up to 264 volts AC, increasing the flexibility of the testing within the lab. Let's take a look at the operating keys of the Safe Test 99. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the power cord to the unit and you see how quickly the Safe Test 99 powers up. Now this is the home screen and above F1, the five soft keys, F1 is the ohm symbol and that is where we'll do our ground continuity testing. F2 with microamps displayed is where we'll do all our leakage current measurements. F3 with the point to point is simply where we will do point to point measurements. And those measurements are done where the device under test cannot be plugged into the socket for the device under test on the Safe Test 99, but that device is hardwired into the power source of the facility. And then F5 is a tools key where we can change language that is displayed on the Safe Test 99. Then we have some operational keys. We have the green rectangular button with the sine wave on it and that will energize the socket for the device under test. The red button below that will de-energize that socket. The black key is the reverse sine wave, and that will swap the hot and neutral lines going to the device under test. And then to the right of that, we have two single fault condition keys, N for open neutral, and the ground symbol for lifting the ground. And then to the right of the 99 analyzer, we have a adapter box for connecting our patient leads. Here we have the EKG leads coming from a patient monitor. Let's take a look at the other connections on the Safe Test 99. And we have the power cord input to the 99 itself. Right above that, we have a banana jack where we will connect our Kelvin cable going to our device under test. We have the green marked AUX for auxiliary, and that would be the connection for our second lead if we were doing point-to-point -point measurements. And then we have the 20 amp socket for the device being tested. I'm going to go ahead and connect my Kelvin cable, which is connected to a rear ground lug on my monitor. And I am also going to plug that monitor into my output socket for the device. So the first test we will conduct is ground continuity. We do that simply by pressing the F1 key. There is our ground continuity measurement and well within the specification of NFPA 99, which is 0 0.5 ohms. I'll return to my home screen. I will select my leakage current measurements. I will put power to my device. And as you know, within NFPA 99, it has you do testing with the power switch on the device on and also doing the testing again with the power switch in the off position. So there's my ground leakage. I'm now going to select chassis leakage, also known as touch leakage. There is normal operating condition. I am going to lift my ground connection, and there is the leakage current for my single fault condition. And we'll close that again. While I'm here, I can select F4 for VI, and that gives me the current being drawn by my device. It also gives me the voltages between hot and neutral, hot and ground, 
and then neutral to ground. So it gives you a quick visual whether that plug is wired correctly that you're connected to within the wall of the facility. And I turn the monitor on and you see I'm pulling a little bit of current now. I'm going to turn my device off. I'm going to change my connection from the Kelvin connection going to that ground pin to my adapter box so I can look at my patient leads. I'm going to again put power to the device under test socket and you'll see that the little yellow warning symbol comes up showing me that I do have power going to my device. There is my normal operating condition. I'll lift my ground and there is my single fault condition and you see the leakage that the patient could be exposed to if they came in contact with the device itself. And that's about as simple and easy as it gets for doing an electrical safety test. Now this is a class one device, meaning that there is a ground pin. We rely on that ground pin to protect the patient. If it was a device without a ground pin, also known as a class two or double insulated device, a couple of these measurements are not done then. We can't do ground leakage. We can't do ground continuity in the absence of a ground pin but we can do touch leakage, in which case we take the Kelvin cable and look for metallic parts within the device being tested to see if there is any exposed leakage current available to the patient if they came in contact with it. And same is true, we still do the same patient lead leakage testing. So very much appreciate your time. And if you'd like to have any further information on the points that we covered here today or more information on the Rigel Medical product line, please do not hesitate to give us a call at 813-886-2775. Again, appreciate your time. Thank you.